Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a shipping video. I have about 50 items here to ship out. A lot of these sold very, very quickly. And so I'm excited to discuss everything with you guys. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Our first item is this maxi dress. It's 100% silk by Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Um, I grabbed this from the bins because it had a lot going for it. It has this ship novelty print, so I knew that I could add a lot of keywords like nautical, sailor, ship, boat, sea life, <laughs> yacht. You know, how fun would this be to wear to like a yacht party? Um, if that's a thing, I don't know. I've never been to a yacht party, but uh, it also was 100% silk, which is a very nice, luxurious fabric. It's a maxi dress, which maxi and midi link pieces automatically make them more substantial, which you know makes them worth more. So I listed this dress at $31. I received an offer, I'd say about three or four months after being listed for $20, which I did go ahead and accept just because this has sat for a little bit. I was ready to move it out and I got it from the bins. So I probably only paid about a dollar for it. It is very lightweight. So my net profit on this was about $15. Next up, we have a Free People waffle knit uh, top, it's like a thermal top, size large. It is one of their newer We The Free lines. I have sold this exact thermal uh, top like probably five or six times now. I forget the name of it currently, but it's very popular. It always sells very quickly for me. And this one was great because it, it was a size large. You usually find these in like an extra small small because they are so oversized. So the extra small usually fits like a medium. I listed it at 38 and I would say a couple days after being listed, I got a $32 offer which I did accept, making my earnings $25.60 and my net profit $23.60. I think someone is um, either mowing their yard or doing the edges. What is it called? Um, mowing the edges. What is the name for that? Edging, I guess. <laughs> Someone's doing something outside to their yard, so excuse that sound. Okay, next we have a three item bundle. This was super fun because they are all rompers. So this first one is Free People. This is so cute. It's a linen cotton blend, kind of like baby doll style romper with contrasting stripes. So the stripes at the chest region are a lighter gray and then through the pants, they're a darker gray, it's wide leg, very boho and cute. Next is a billabong jumpsuit. I guess these are these two are jumpsuits, and then the next one is a romper. So yeah, this is a floral print, had the tie waist belt still attached. This one looks like brand new. Um, the Free People one does as well. So Billabong has been a brand that I have been loving picking up. It has been selling super well for me, especially, you know, jumpsuits, rompers, maxi dresses, and anything with a true wrap style to it, where, you know, it's not like a faux wrap with the crossover front, it's a genuine wrap. That kind of stuff just flies out of my closet. So. And of course, if it has that boho style with floral prints, kind of gauzy materials. And the last item 
is a romper and I just picked this up from the bins. I thought it was cute. Once again, it's a linen cotton blend. So all natural materials and it was new with tags. It, the brand is Luca Los Angeles. I think I saw that this was sold at PacSun when I was listing it probably for around $35, $40. So, you know, picking it up at the bins for like a dollar, totally grab it. It's super cute. It has ties at the shoulders and then to complement the natural materials, it has like a wood button look. The button front, the buttons look like faux wood buttons. <laughs> that was a wordy way of describing that, but you get what I mean. So for this jumpsuit romper bundle, I sent a $75 offer with discounted shipping out to the buyer and that deciding between 1092 and 1095 box. The 1092 is just a bit smaller than the 1095. Um, so yeah, my earnings were $58.28. I paid about $5 for everything you'll see here. And so my net profit was $53.28. And everything sold pretty quickly, so I'm definitely happy with the sale. I love moving items quickly, and I hope the buyer loves them. This is a super cute kind of spring-summer bundle. I know everyone is getting excited for some warmer weather. I know I definitely am. I'm a warm weather kind of girl. I get cold so easily. Okay, next, Z by Zella. This was another bins grab. I got it because it was a size extra large and it has that athleisure style. I say that because, well, first off, Zella is Nordstrom's house brand athletic line. So if you see Zella, that's where it's from. And also this has thumb holes, which is more of like an athleisure style uh, characteristic. Fold over collar, really soft and cozy. And I did like this earth tone green. It has pockets, it's long line. This just checked pretty much every box for me. Also in really good condition and it has that uh, really soft lining to it. I listed this at 35 and I would say a couple days after being listed, I received a $29 offer, which I did accept, which made my earnings $23.20. I paid probably a couple dollars for it at the Goodwill outlet. I pay by the pound. It's $2.19 per pound here in Houston. And so my net profit was right around $21.20. That's right what I aim for uh, with a net profit on items from the bins. I like to get back right around that $20 mark. Okay, moving on. Another bins grab. This is Chico's. I've been picking up pretty much anything Chico's, J. Jill, Soft Surroundings, Eileen Fisher, anything from the more mature brands that is cute and has a nice style to it. I loved the cheetah print to this. Anything animal print sells amazing for me. This is a size extra large. It's a size 16, 18 and she goes. And it also is very soft. It's a modal blend, which um, modal is great because it's a very soft kind of silky fabric but it is pretty low maintenance. You can machine wash it. Um, so it's like the best of both worlds, I would say. So for this top, I listed it at $32 and I received an offer, I would say a couple days after being listed for $23, which I did counter to 25 just because like I was mentioning that $20 net profit is what I aim for from the bins. That $25 counter offer was accepted. And so my 
total net profit came out to right around $19 on this top. Another bundle, three piece bundle here. First off is this comfy USA striped tunic top, super cute with a, like a little bit of a shark bite hem, some contrasting stripes. It's a size 3X, which is great. And this is also a really soft, stretchy jersey knit material, which is super comfortable, super wearable. Second item is Pure Jill by J Jill 3X once again. And I grabbed this because I thought the pastel pink would be really pretty for springtime. Also because it is a linen cotton blend. So natural materials, plus size, breathable, and pretty. So those two, and then lastly, I'll wrap that one separately. Okay, and then lastly we have this torrid, kind of burnout, uh, cozy, comfy, lounge sweatshirt. I think you can wear this off shoulder if you want. It has kind of a graphite wash to it or maybe like a burnout look almost. And so when these three items were added to a bundle, the bundle price came out to $87 and I received a $75 offer, which I did accept. I thought that was pretty fair. So that made my earnings $60. I paid six for all three tops. And so my net profit came out to $54. So this is a great kind of cozy, comfy bundle for someone. Alrighty, moving on, we have a sweatshirt kind of keeping with the theme here. This is a tie-dye fleece lined sweatshirt. The brand is just green tea, but I got it because of the cool tie-dye print, the loungewear fit, and the fact that it was a size extra, extra large. Also, it is in really good condition. So when I'm at the bins, this is the kind of stuff that I always keep my eye out for. Obviously, I love finding name brand stuff, but, you know, it's few and far between when you are at the outlets. And so you really do have to supplement with cute, fun, comfy items. And honestly, this is the kind of stuff that sells the fastest for me. It doesn't sell for the most amount of money, but it sells very quickly, very consistently. And that's the kind of stuff that pays my bills. So I love to pick it up. I listed this at 25. I got an offer for 20, which I went ahead and accepted, I think same day. And so my net profit came out to around $15 on this sweatshirt. This is the same kind of thing. It's not, you know, a nice brand by any means. It's just urban romantics, but I got this because the style is super cute and boho. It's like a monochromatic stripe and also it's all natural materials. 55% linen, 45% cotton. Um, it was in good condition. It's a little bit of a longer length dress. If this were a mini dress, I probably would have left it, but it's closer to a midi length, which is super popular. I listed this at 25. Once again, I got an offer for 20, which I think I want to say it was about three or four days after being listed. I did accept that. And again, my net profit came out to around $15 on this dress. So, I mean, I'm still happy with that. A $15 net profit on Ben's items. This probably took me a couple minutes to list. My boyfriend is still taking pictures for me, so he does all my pictures. Um, and then I list the items and ship them. And so I have just been picking up more stuff because um, I don't spend that time photographing. Uh, so, but you know, that might switch up in the future when I go back to personally 
photographing. Okay, next up, this is an Athleta t-shirt. Even though this is just a basic long sleeve, I was actually really excited to find it because it is the newer tag from Athleta. Also, it's a size large and it's a super soft uh, material. Yeah, it's a stretch jersey knit with modal as the primary fabric. So like I was just mentioning, modal is so soft and silky and this is just a great basic for someone. It's also flattering with the rounded bottom hem and it's long line. So it has some more coverage, so soft. So I listed this at $38. It probably retailed, if I had to guess, for around 70 ish So I listed it at 38. My Posher VA sent out a $34 offer with discounted shipping. That was accepted, making my earnings $25.48. And my net profit, $23.48. Okay, next, a pair of leggings. These are Soul Cycle leggings. I think they're a collab. Soul Cycle with NUX, N U X. I hadn't heard of NUX before, um, but they're a seamless legging. They have a mineral wash to them. So I got these, I would say, maybe like nine or ten months ago. They have been sitting. I have price dropped them several times, I would say. So they were at $18 when they sold for full price. These actually sold during Poshmark's hour of free shipping promotion that they've been doing. So recently, uh, they've been sending out notifications saying, hey, you know, for the next hour, the entire hour, anything that you buy, you'll have free shipping on it. And so I guess someone had these saved in their likes and just went ahead and purchased them when that promo was going on. I got these from the bins and my net profit came out to $13.40. I was expecting those to sell for at least 25 ish just because SoulCycle is I guess maybe not so much anymore, but at one point it just, I couldn't keep anything soul cycle in my closet. Um, so maybe the hype has kind of died down a little bit. Next we have this swimsuit top. It's kind of hard to show. It has like a choker detail and then this little gingham uh, part goes around the chest. The brand is Onya and I actually purchased this from ThreadUp's brick and mortar store when they had it here in Houston. That was a couple years ago now and I loved that store so much. They had like a 50 cent day and that's when I purchased this top so I only paid 50 cents for it. Um, it did close down unfortunately. It was a very sad day to learn that it was closing. But they said that they would open another one at some point in Houston. Uh, but that was before the pandemic, so who knows now. But I listed this at 18 and I've had it listed for a couple years now. And so when I got a $13 offer, I did go ahead and accept that. But my net profit was still around $10 just because my cost of goods were so low on that. Next, a tried and true seller for me. This is an American Eagle jegging fit sweatshirt with a ribbed turtleneck. It's long line. It does have fleece on the interior, very soft and cozy, size small. Anytime I see these and they're in good condition with no pilling, I always get them because, well, if, if the cost is I'd say like $3 or less, which it almost always is for me. Um, I will pick it up just because I know that it is going to sell and it will sell quickly. So I listed this at 28 and I would say a couple days after being listed, I got an $18 offer, which I did counter to 25 just because I've sold several of these before all around that $25 mark. 
so I knew that that was kind of the going rate. So I was comfortable countering to 25. That was accepted, making my earnings $20 and my net profit $18. Okay, moving on, we have a really fun bundle here. I listed all three of these items in the same listing. It was a, a bundle listing for just like a fun, cozy, boho style four, size 4X bundle. That was how I marketed it. I just got them all because I thought they were really practical items. So this is an Old Navy stretch jersey midi dress. It is new with tags. So I was happy to pick this up. I did get all three of these items, for, or actually I got these two from my family thrift center outlet. So I paid $2 a piece for these. And then the last item I got from the bins. So this is the second 4X item. The brand is Weekend by Suzanne Betro. How cute is this print with the slightly flared sleeve? Excellent shape. And then lastly, this was super light, so I, I probably only paid about a dollar for this. It's Old Navy and it's an animal print flutter sleeve v-neck blouse. So yeah, I grabbed all these, put them into a bundle, and I listed it for $35. And someone liked the listing, so my Posture VA sent them out a $31 offer with discounted shipping. That was accepted, making my earnings $23.08. I paid $5 for everything. And so my net profit was right around $18. So not the most amazing net profit, but the alternative is to leave these items behind. Um, and I don't know, I, something about selling plus size bundles just makes me really happy. I think um, plus sizes are kind of underrated or What's the word? Underrepresented, I guess, on the secondhand market. It's it's kind of hard to find cute plus size stuff that's in good condition. So the idea of making bundles that would be super easy for someone to buy and enjoy, uh, that's just exciting for me. So I'm still happy with this profit. I am still going to buy and make plus size bundles. Okay, next we have this I got based on style. The brand is just white stag, but it was a size 22, 24, and it's a velvet leaf novelty print shacket. How cool is this? It's very fall time. I expected this to sell in the fall time, but it didn't. That's okay. I mean, it's still sold. You could wear this year round if you wanted. Um, but I just, I could not get over this when I found it. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And as I'm sure you know, shackets, the trend is definitely here to stay, it seems like. So um, I did add a lot of keywords to this. Shacket, fall time, novelty print. Uh, oversized, cozy, whatnot. So I listed this at 31 and I would say a couple months after being listed, I got a $26 offer, which I accepted, making my earnings $20.80 and my net profit $18.80. Okay, next, I hope this yard sound is not too distracting. It's kind of distracting for me. So sorry about that guys. Okay, moving on. This is same kind of thing. Uh, this is Karen Kane. I don't really pick up this brand. Similarly, like I don't really pick up white stag very often, but I love the style of this blouse. So it has a fully beaded collared neckline 
and it was a size 2x and also it is a hundred percent silk so really nice material beautiful kind of peasant style and the beading just really um, adds to the kind of chic classiness to the item so I listed this at $28 again someone liked the listing and so my posture VA sent them out a $25 offer with discount ship uh, that was accepted, which made my earnings $18.28 and my net profit about $17.28. I got this from the bins and it is extremely lightweight. So I probably paid about a dollar for it. Next, yet another bundle. First off is this sweater. This is so cute. The brand is Love Stitch, which is just like a boutique kind of brand but it has a really soft kind of nubby material with this crochet floral cutout design at the neck, size medium large, so cute. Let me see, this is gonna be kind of hard to wrap up here. I will wrap this one on its own. So yeah, as you can tell, I am definitely not opposed to picking up boutique stuff as long as it's cute and relatively good quality. Um, honestly, like I was saying, that kind of stuff sells the fastest for me. I have to switch out my tape here. I just ordered new scotch tape and from Amazon and it just came in just in the nick of time. Second item in the bundle is this soft surroundings button down blouse. It's super soft. It's in a stretch jersey knit and even though it's a little bit more plain, I picked it up because it is new without tags. It is that really nice wearable material and it's a great uh, kind of aquatic blue color. Last item is this Chico's blouse with a tiered ruffle sleeve. Super cute. It's a size three, which I believe is an extra large from Chico's 16, 18. Yeah. They've started printing the actual size on the tag now. This has a really light texture to it. Really pretty. So when the three of these items were added to a bundle, the price came out to 82 and I did get an offer of 70. I did accept that. My earnings were 56 and my net profit was around $51. I would say all three of these, the Love Stitch sweater, Chico's top, and Soft Surroundings top, all sold extremely quickly within, within a week of being listed for sure. So we love that. I'm going to grab my 1095 box. If you guys are wondering what specific boxes and envelopes I order from USPS, I have a list of all of them in the description. They are free, come straight to your door. And that's what I ship with. I don't I don't buy any fancy poly mailers or anything like that. I just I think people mostly just want to get the item they ordered, get it out of the package wash it, start wearing it, and move on with their lives. Next up we have a Coldwater Creek drape front cardigan. And again, this is not a brand I always get, but this was in a size 14, 16. It is 100% linen, which is great. And it's that really nice kind of waterfall drape front. Cardigans sell amazing for me. And I thought this would just be a really nice piece to th 
throw on and go. You could wear this to the office over just like a plain white blouse to dress it up with black pants. You could wear it to brunch. It's just a really nice kind of chic addition to your outfit, but it's still breathable and light with it being linen. I listed this at 28. Again, someone liked the listing, and so my Posher VA sent them out a $25 offer with discounted ship. They did counter that offer to 20, and then I countered back to 22, which was accepted. So that means my earnings were $17.60, and my net profit was $15.60. This also had a herringbone print, which that's another kind of persuasive characteristic for me. If something has like a classic herringbone, gingham, leopard print to it, I am more likely to pick it up. Next, a two item bundle. This was a really pretty maxi dress that I got at the bins. It's just, again, boutique indigo rose, but it was a size large, maxi length. It has this cool kind of floral paisley patchwork boho print, ties in the back, and then it has bracelet sleeves. So overall, a really pretty piece. Uh, you could wear this to an event or just out and about. Next and last item, in this bundle is this T Babaton, which is a sub brand of Aritzia, 100% double V tank top. I grabbed this at the bins as well, and this weighs next to nothing. I probably paid like 25 cents for it. So I knew that it would just kind of bump up a bundle sale, which is exactly what it did. The bundle price for these two came out to $51 and someone offered me $45, which I accepted. That made my earnings $36 and my net profit $33. Next, just a closet staple here. This is Vince, which I am pretty picky with the older tag Vince. It's just the little thin gray label. But I do get their basics if they're in a good fabric, and this was 100% linen. Some people, uh, you know, just specifically wear like Vince basics. They are very nice, very high quality. This shirt probably retailed for like $150, but unfortunately, the resale value does not translate um, to that. Basic linen items, especially with the older tag, the resale value is just not there. Um, I listed this at 28 and my Posher VA sent out a $25 offer with discounted shipping. That was accepted, making my earnings $18.28 and my net profit $16.28. So just a bread and butter sale. I will continue picking them up as long as they are in good condition and are a good fabric or have a really cute print or the combination of those two things. Next, this is going to be kind of hard to show just because it's so strappy and all over the place, but it is a true wrap dress with ruffles going all the way down. It's in a neutral stripe and it has lots of straps to the back. I received this dress in my thread up 100 pound bulk box, mystery bulk box. I did unpack it on camera. It was super fun and I'm still having stuff sell from it. So I really need to order another one. I was really, really happy with it. Um, this dress in particular was a full price sale. It was $32, which is awesome. That made my Earnings $25.60. I guesstimated that I paid about $5 per item. I think that it was less than that, 
but I still have yet to sit down and calculate it all out. But for now, I'm just saying $5. And so my net profit was at least $20.60 on this dress, which is awesome for something that was delivered straight to my door. I could not be happier with that. Did I say the brand? The brand is Luxelle, which I hadn't heard of. I think it's like, uh, like an online boutique kind of brand. I wasn't super clear when I was doing the research on it. Okay, next we have an anthropology dress. This is by, it's just their house label by anthropology. It's a longer length midi dress with a waist tie. And it has this, it's like a textured uh, cross stitch kind of embroidery throughout. It's really pretty. It's really hard. It was hard to capture on camera. So I think the buyer will be pleasantly surprised with how pretty it is in person because it's just one of those pieces that it's really hard to photograph and capture the true beauty of the item. So I listed this at 35 and the buyer actually sent me a comment on their bundle. She put it into a bundle and then sent me a comment saying, Hey, I like this dress. Would you be willing to send me a $30 offer with discounted shipping? And I said, sure. So I sent it out. She accepted. My earnings were $22 and 28 cents. And my net profit was right around $20. We have a pair of shoes. These are soul society. They're a suede pink blush pink bow detail flats or loafers i guess you'd say this is how i wrap shoes i just wrap them individually especially if they are suede or leather you do not want them rubbing together during transit that can damage especially suede suede is pretty um susceptible to uh, damage especially if it's like suede on suede so I listed these at 35 and I think same day or next day I got an offer for 29 which I accepted that made my earnings $23.20 I got these from the bins and so my net profit was right around $21.20 did I say the brand was Soul Society I do like to get that brand um, if the item or if the shoes are really cute and they're a good material like suede or genuine leather or even vegan leather honestly. A lot of people will only buy vegan items and so I, I keep an eye out for anything really. Next this was a really cute interesting kind of grungy boho blouse it has a bleach effect with an all-over plaid and it buttons down and back frayed hem there's a lot happening the brand is lucky and blessed which i think this is sold at buckle i want to say i'm pretty sure i saw that when i was researching uh, and this sold for full price as well a couple days after being listed for 25 dollars uh, so my earnings were 19. Super happy with that. This came from the bins. It was kind of slow day. And so I started really keeping my eye out for anything that was cute, had a lot going for it. Like this blouse. When, when the thrift store is just not, it's dry or it's not performing for you, you just kind of have to improvise, keep a good attitude try to be resourceful. I firmly believe that attitude is everything. You know, if you get to the thrift store or the bins and you're looking around and it's a slow day and you just start thinking, oh, this is terrible. I drove this whole way. It's slow. You know, I'm not finding anything. Then it's going to be a bad day because your mindset is just, you're shutting down. So you just have to Roll with the punches, get creative, keep looking for stuff. Don't stop moving, turn over every item, go through every item in the bins um, and just 
you know, keep smiling, keep moving on. Okay, three items here, three item bundle. Well, I guess four items, but one of them is a set. So first off is this All Saints chambray little tie front chambray. Did I just say chambray? <laughs> yeah, I'm losing it over here, guys. I need my second cup of coffee. Uh, but super cute. This was originally new with tags when I found it, but it had some surface spots. So I took the tags off to wash it. Second item is Altered State. Really fun boho peasant style blouse. Again, this has a lot happening. It has a beaded collar, a chest tie with tassels bell sleeve, high-low hem, boho stripe, just a whole lot happening. So I will wrap these two and then I will show you the rest of the bundle. We have about 10 minutes before we have to run down and get all of these items shipped. Okay, so next and last is this adorable Madewell pajama set. And I believe this was newer I was very happy to find this. Yeah, spring 2020. So these are the shorts, little ruffle trim shorts. And I love this color. This is like my favorite color. And then the little tank. And they're both in a size large, which is great. I found the shorts first, or maybe I found the tank first. I found one first and I was like, ah, uh, cute, but not substantial enough and then I was digging for a little bit longer and I found the second piece and I was like oh my gosh it's a complete made well pajama set very exciting immediately threw it into my cart uh, and so for the three of these this pajama set the all saints dress and the altered state top uh, the bundle price came out to $100 for everything, and someone offered me $69. I did counter that to $75, mainly because the Madewell pajamas I knew would sell really well, and I had just listed them. I had also just listed the Altered State top. However, the All Saints dress I have had now for, I would say, two months or so. And so that was why I was pretty negotiable on price. I did counter to 75 and they accepted, making my earnings 60 I paid about $6 for everything, so my net profit was $54. Next is this cable knit cardigan. I mentioned in the haul that this was just 100% acrylic, which usually dissuades me from buying boutique items, but this was incredibly soft, which kind of canceled out that. It also had a lot going for it with this chunky cable knit texture, oversized tortoiseshell buttons, and with it being a size extra large. So I was happy to pick this up. I listed it for 25, someone liked it. And so my Posture BA sent out a $22 offer with discounted shipping. That made my earnings $15.88 and my net profit $13.88. Not sure if this will fit. It is pretty, pretty chunky knit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it over to my 1092 box. Okay, next a J Crew dress. Really pretty kind of faux wrap crossover front with a ruffle trim at the bottom hem, size 12, zips in back. I believe this was also a little bit of a newer item like 2019 and on. So I listed this dress at $38. 
Again, someone liked the listing and my Posh Review A sent them out a $34 offer with discount ship. They accepted, which made my earnings $25.48 and my net profit $23.48. Okay, next we have a very exciting sale here. These are a pair of Chloe espadrille wedge platform sandals. These are gorgeous. I was so excited. These sold quickly. Usually with more expensive items, they take longer to sell. And I will show you guys how I'm going to wrap these up. So I did stuff both shoes with a piece of paper. I just half the piece of paper and put half in each. And then I'm going to take these bags, which I use for more expensive sales and more expensive items. I do like to be super eco-friendly with my wrapping. And I haven't had any issues with, you know, items getting damaged or wet or anything like that in the past. But I would never want my first item with an issue to be something like this. So I do always wrap my more expensive stuff in these bags. I listed these shoes at $385 and within just a couple days, I got an offer for 200, which we did go back and forth several times. Um, you know what, I meant to, I was gonna wrap these in paper and then in the bag, but maybe the bag is fine. Maybe I'll just leave them in the bag. Um, but yeah, we went back and forth several times. She actually thought that uh, the laser cut design, if you can see in back there, was like the shoes had a hole in the back of them. Because if you're looking at them from the interior picture or the interior side, it does kind of look like that. It looks like there's a hole in the back, but I said, no, you know, that's actually a part of the design. It's a laser cut design. And so then she was like, oh, okay, I see now. And so we ended up settling on $275 as a final sale price, which I was super happy with. I did pick these up from my Family Thrift Center outlet on $2 day, which is kind of mind blowing. I'm going to add some sealed air packets above and below the shoes, which is not totally necessary, but you know, you wanna be thorough with an item that sells for a lot. You want it to arrive safely to the buyer in the same condition that you described it to be in and look presentable. So. I just added a piece of paper on top of the sealed airbags and added my thank you sticker to that. And now I will close it up. So like I said, we settled on a sale price of $275. That made my earnings $220. I did pay two for them. And so my net profit came out to $218 on these shoes. I did get them authenticated through real authentication, which did cost $30 but it was free to me because you guys have been using my code. That code gets you $5 off and it gets gives me $5 in credits. And so I had the full 30 credits. So thank you guys, you saved me $30. Otherwise, my I would have incorporated that $30 into my cost of goods. Um, and in that case, my net profit would have been 188. But because I didn't have to pay that, my net profit was 218 so I hope that makes sense. Um, and thank you to anyone who has used my code. I do really like Real Authentication. They use two experts, two set of eyes to look at your item and authenticate it. If they have any concerns, they just uh, refund you and say, you know, it was undetermined. So they are very thorough, very professional, and I'm always happy with their services. So I will leave the code down below. Again, it gets you $5 off anything you want to authenticate. So with all that being said, I'm going to pack everything up, take it down to the post office. So this video is actually getting a little bit long. I think I'm going to split this ship with me into two parts 
just to keep the editing manageable and the videos not too long. So if you are interested in seeing the rest of my sales, I should have a part two up the day after this video comes out. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll get the notification. Please feel free to leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon. Bye y'all.